Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode from The Escapist, and hopefully this will be my last episode of The Escapist, because I am hoping, hoping against hope, that today will actually be the day that I get out of here. We're going to find out if that's the case. I'm going to kind of actually, you know what, let's... Let's uh, talk with Shelby real quick. Is Shelby selling anything useful? No, Shelby's of course not selling anything useful. Um, um, I'm I'm not doing anything. All right, what have we got? Oh, I did pick up a screwdriver since last episode. If you remember correctly, last episode ended in failure. I got caught not once but twice and put in solitary confinement. And you cannot save. You cannot save when you are in solitary. So that's really kind of an annoyance. But we're gonna grab a sheet, two sheets and a pillow. Actually, and another sheet right here. And we're going to put the bed sheets there. Then what we will do, let's just put these down right over here. I do want to go, we'll need those later. We're gonna make ourselves a little uh, dummy type guy. Um, leave me alone. All right, let's get some forks. Let's grab some knives. I shouldn't need a whole lot of forks, and I've already got a ton of knives up there. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and... You know what, we don't even need to eat breakfast. We really don't. We're just going... They... Oh, they keep seeing me, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm not doing anything bad, I'm not doing anything bad. Okay, so let's see. Let's check the state of this. Okay, so actually this wall's pretty well broken down. So I should be able to basically just chip right through it without any real issues. Oh! Okay, okay, I think we're good. Yeah, that should be good. That one over there should be good as well. I think we are basically ready for our escape attempt. We've got tons of knives. I've got a cookie and some cooked food to restore my stamina. I really think, I really think I'm good, or at least as good as I can be. Let's just check our favors. We don't have any favors at all at the moment. Logan, Logan wants to, ooh, and so does, so does Joseph. Hey, Joseph, come back here. No, I don't want to beat up a police officer. Not the night before my escape. That's a good way to just ruin everything. Logan, what do you want? Come here. Hey. Hey, you. They're so hard to stop when they're moving. There we go. Shane, relieve me of my poster. Can you get it back? I, I could probably do that for you. Let's find Shane. Shane is cruising for a beatdown. Isaac, Martin, Joseph, and Chuck... Terrell, Logan, ooh. Officer's gonna get in there and break that up. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. Ooh, there's Shane. Hey, Shane, come here. I'm just gonna beat him up over here in this corner. I, he, he totally destroyed me. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna beat him up right now. I guess we'll just uh, uh, comb shiv. Is that better than what I've got? I'm gonna guess that it is. I'm gonna guess that that is better than the. Oh, I don't even have a weapon because I just got beat up. Never mind. What about Martin's desk? I keep clicking the wrong button. I'm in the cell and I really am not supposed to be. That's all right. Not enough heat. Not enough heat for them to really stay after me. Plastic fork, shaving cream. Nothing good once again. Chuck does... Oh, I thought he was going to see me. But he did... Oh, now he saw me. Ah, terrible. Terrible, terrible. It's lunchtime, though, and, and nothing is really going on at this point. Plaque of cane, playing cards, DVD, yeah, a bunch of stuff that doesn't even matter. Let's just dump this random stuff off. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to put the fork right there. Our entire cell... It's probably looking a bit suspicious, given that it's just, you know forks and silverware and pillows and blankets and stuff everywhere but do I care no no I don't I am so tired of being in this prison and failing every episode to escape 
I thought last one was gonna be the one. The one before that, I thought was gonna be the one. Needless to say, none of those were actually the one. So, this one, I'm hoping this is it. I'm already through the wall. I should be able to basically just cut my way through a couple fences, maybe a fence or two, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to escape in this episode. That is the plan. We will have to wait for night. And that's a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. Because the area where we're gonna be working, the guard towers really can't see us. So we should be okay. All right, so that's all good. Chuck is over here. Chuck, what do you want? Hold still. Logan has earned a beating. Yeah, we can beat up Lo Ooh, speaking of Logan. Oh, but I can't get into where Logan is working. That's unfortunate. I wish I could. Terrell, what do you want? Find me a die. As in dice? I'm assuming you mean dice. Come out here, Logan. Come out here. I'm, I want to... I want to beat on you a little bit. Ooh, you know what else we should do? We should double check our intellect. Oh, it's plenty high. We're all the way up to like s over 80. That should be fine. And maybe I can beat on Shane. Shane? Shane! Oh, Shane, there he is. Come here. Come here, you. He has a really good weapon. Ah, leave me alone, leave me alone! Oh, uh, infirmary again. Okay, so maybe I can't take Shane. Looks like I do need to work out a bit. Looks like my... My working out has not, uh, has not been sufficient to keep me from getting beat up all the time. So let's do some weight training here. Let's, uh, raise our lovely, lovely health and strength and all that kind of good stuff. We're gonna see... I want my health to go up. Shane, I am tired of. I am tired of Shane. He has wronged me too many times, and vengeance will be mine. That is the plan. We've got a little bit longer to work out. If I can get up to 20 stamina, 20 health before... I, I'm not done. I'm not done working out. I'm not done yet. A little bit more. Just a little. Oh, there we go. 20 health. Okay. All right. We will hit the showers. Greg is offering stuff. Isaac's and Chuck... Hmm, not much. Duct tape could come in handy later, but I, I'm not really... Uh, Shane wants a TV remote. Sure, sure, I'll I'll do a favor for uh, Shane, even though he's, you know, whatever. Let's check our crafting real quick. Oh, not that one. Let's check our crafting and just see... Do I have anything to cut a fence with? Because I'm pretty sure I can do it with the paper... Uh, the, or the plastic knives. But I want to see if there's anything I have that can do it faster. Not that I know the recipe for. That's alright. I know one of you had mentioned the recipe in the comments. But that feels a little cheaty to me. Just just a little bit. Hey! Whoa! Oh, I thought, I thought he was coming for me. I was going to say, that's not very nice. Joseph. Jo yeah, nothing, nothing for Joseph. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do... It's time for the evening meal. I just, I, I'm at the lowest stamina, or the, uh, my, my fatigue is, is fine, so I don't need to eat. So I'm not going to eat. I'm gonna sneak back to my cell, and I'm gonna see if I have a weapon in here hiding anywhere. Doesn't look like I do. Huh, we do have three wires, though, and we can use that to make a fake fence. That might come in handy later. That will also let us get some of this random stuff off of our floor, pick up our plastic fork and deposit that as well, because you never know. You never know when you're gonna need another plastic fork. Stay away, guard. Don't come over here. Leave me alone. Leave me to be... Okay, we're good. I think I already searched these earlier today and I didn't find anything, but that was also before I picked up any missions. All right, evening free time. Inmate outfit, tube of toothpaste, nothing. I just want a weapon, that's all I want. And that guard is really gonna 
do? Ooh, dirt. What is he up to? He's being all sneaky as well. All right. Well, we're going to come in here. And I think we are going to grab this plastic knife. I don't know how many plastic knives I'm going to need to actually get through. I think there are no less than two fences for me to get through, which could be a little bit of a problem. But we might, we might be okay. We'll have to find out. Do I have a fake wall in here? No, I don't. I do have a screwdriver. I should really just hide some contraband back there, honestly. That would probably be the smart thing to do, now that I think about it. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. There's not really a lot for me to do. Who else was I supposed to beat up? It was Shane and somebody. Shane and... Shane and Logan. Oh, I, I was... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, so Logan and Shane, they're having a feud. They're having a little bit of a feud, it looks like. I don't have a weapon, though. I don't have a good weapon to beat up anybody with. I mean, I think I, I, think I have, like, a plastic piece of junk weapon, but it's not doing me any good. Not in, a, not in like, a real fight. A sponge. What's a sponge used for? That's weird. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at our uh, crafting recipes and see. Do I have anything... Duct tape, razor blade, glass shard, duct tape, comb and razor blade. I, I do have a comb and a razor blade. That I can make. That I can make. So, we'll grab a razor blade. I'll come get a comb from somebody else or something. Those are never hard to find. And we'll just craft ourselves a comb blade. It's not much, but it's something. Ooh! Free stuff. Ooh, a sock and timber. That could be useful. And a comb. Please tell me you didn't notice me. You didn't. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Okay. And I can make myself a sock mace. And a sock mace is actually a pretty decent weapon, I think. I don't really know what the hierarchy of weapons is here. But I know the tutorial teaches you about a sock mace, so I'm going to make myself a sock mace. That's my plan. That is my plan. Make myself a sock mace. And then, we're running out of space. We are quickly running out of space. Let's grab our pillows and our extra bed sheet. And we will craft the bed dummy, which we can put in there. We can put our food and our timber in there. The comb blade. The comb blade I could probably just get rid of. Or, you know what I'll do? I'll put the comb blade in Shane's desk. Hopefully he gets caught with it. Come here, Shane. That officer needs to... Okay. Alright, this guy... I can take him as long as that officer doesn't interfere. Leave me alone. Okay. Alright, so we got Logan's poster back. He doesn't really have... Oh, he has a file. But nothing else that I really want. So I think it's time... Oh, you know what? You know what? Greg and Shelby. Okay, neither one of those is me. That's fortunate. Ooh, and a guard outfit. And duct tape. You know what? I'm going to get both of those. And what we'll do is at night, I will put on the guard outfit. In fact, I'm going to head back to my cell right now and start preparing. Because my bed is not the one being searched. So we'll put the bed dummy there. We will put the file in here. And then I will grab the plastic forks. We're going to put that in there. I think I'm going to change into the guard outfit. Anything else in here that I'm going to need? I will need food, without a doubt. That's going to be really important. Oh, fine. I'll drop something. So let's chip the wall. And I'm thinking that should do it. And then we'll grab... 
all of this stuff. Oh no. Whew. That was actually really close. Okay, I think we are, I think we're good. Except I'm not sure. Why can't I chip through this wall? Oh, because I'm not, because I'm being an idiot and not using, a, a, I'm, I'm clicking the wrong button. That would do it. I don't think I like the fact though, that it appears all of these walls have been repaired. Oh, maybe not. You know what? This, this might be it, guys. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop some forks out here. Just a couple. We're going to grab the plastic knives and put them out here as well. So they are on the correct side. And then we're gonna grab the cooked food, this, la this last plastic knife, put the wall block right there, and find a place to escape. That is my goal. Inventory full, let's drop a chicken or something, whatever that cooked meat is. The guard towers are down. I think we can just cut through right here. Which is exactly what we're going to try to do. Hopefully we can get through it before morning comes. That is going to be the question. I don't remember exactly what time morning roll call arrives. But... I think we can get out right here in this corner. As long as some guard doesn't come and see me. I'm feeling it, guys. I think this is the one. Fence is down to 44%. It's night. I'm wearing a guard outfit. My skeleton, my cell is disguised. I've got food to eat. Which... Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't see me. Don't see me. Whew. I don't know if they can actually, maybe maybe they left me alone because I'm wearing a guard outfit. I hope that's the case, I really do. Because then that guard outfit made this all worthwhile. It made it the perfect escape plan. Burning daylight though, which is not good. But we've almost cut through the fence. There we go. And we are out. We have escaped center perks. It took a while, guys. But we did it. And that, I think, is going to be the end of this series. I have successfully escaped prison. I may come back to it, but I have some other stuff that I want to take care of in the meantime as far as other series go. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. Oh, there's another chest? Yeah, there's one down here, too. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, enchanted boomerang. That, pick up that. That's, that, you need that. I, I did definitely pick it up. 70 coins. All sorts of good stuff.